Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank you. Uh, Mark is currently away traveling on business, but you can all have a big hello from London from me. Not that many weekly technical patterns this past week, but what we did see was, nevertheless, an interesting selection, especially on the eve of the last day of February, and all the possibilities that monthly key reversals for February may provide. In the currencies, we saw some significant weekly patterns. We had a weekly key reversal up in US dollar South African Rand last week. This was an interesting one as it was an immediate countering weekly key reversal up after the previous week's weekly key reversal down. Unsurprisingly, we had a reactionary move lower this week. But that has been compensated today and in fact this market is showing some indecisive actions based around last Friday's close. There was also a weekly key reversal up in Sterling Rand, though this also has not seen a follow through higher, with the market staying within last week's range. Elsewhere, we had a weekly key reversal up in US dollar against the Brazilian real, which also has seen a reaction move back down this week. Quite a strong one. Uh, enough that we are approaching the low of last week at 491.81, though there has been a reaction back upwards today. You see, we even may, if we carry on, we may see a move outside last week's range and towards the low support of 2021 at 489.08. Then there was the US dollar CNY, the onshore Chinese yuan. And we have a unique situation here that I have not seen before. You see, we had a weekly key reversal up last week in the spot US dollar CNY, the onshore Chinese yuan. And I'm basing this not on the Chinese New Year holiday two weeks ago, but on the previous week. We have seen a limited slow move higher this week as the market tries to overcome the declining medium moving average, currently 7.1982. But we have also seen something else in US dollar CNY. You see, in the US dollar CNY one year NDF, we had a weekly key reversal down last week. So a complete about face compared to the spot US dollar CNY. So in the one year one NDF, whilst prices have tried higher this week, all the way up to matching last week's highs, yet at the end of each day, prices have finished up nearby to last Friday's close and in theory at least, still within last week's range. As I said earlier, this is a unique situation and one that I've not seen before, but a situation that makes me think that perhaps, just perhaps, there may be some play going on here in the yield curve or maybe even in longer term expectations when compared to today. Elsewhere in the stock indexes, we had a weekly key reversal up in the NASDAQ composite index last week which has really neither seen a move higher nor a move lower this week. This is also true of the Philex Semiconductor Index, which likewise had a weekly key reversal up last week, which in reality has only seen a small follow on higher, though we are still within last week's range. Meanwhile, in the commodities, we had a weekly key reversal down last week in LME three month aluminium. This has seen a limited attempt lower with prices seemingly holding around last Friday's close. That's at uh, 2184. Now I deal with this and other LME metals more fully in my metals videos, which were published yesterday. Finally, there was a weekly key reversal down in Paris rapeseed futures last week, if only just. This week has seen a small follow on lower and then a reactionary move back up and today a limited attempt lower all happening around the middle time, currently at 4.12 and a half of the late November 2023 to mid-January 2024 bearish shift pitchfork. The market also saw this week a first proper test of two significant necklines below, both originating from a single move. And that's the November 2019 to February 2020 head and shoulders pattern.
One neckline is currently at 406 and a half, and the other is slightly lower, currently at 402 and three quarters. I will deal with all these more thoroughly in my all season veg oils commentary tomorrow. As always, I'm happy to answer any direct questions with anyone who's interested. And with that, I'll finish this section from London. And I hope that you found these comments useful. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank you.